if you could hit me back, that'd be really dope. See you soon. Ooh, we, I got this feeling that just you and me may end up somewhere off of Italy. Hi, I'm Harissa. Welcome back to my channel. I recently came back from my trip in Rome. Uh, I was there with a friend of mine and we had a really nice time. I vlogged everything and while editing the video I realized that even if I was there for four days I learned a lot so I decided to make this video uh, to give some tips for everyone who is about to visit Rome for the first time. We are going to talk about the places that you should visit, uh, the food that you should try. Uh, I will give you some tips to make your trip easier and we will talk about the program, the schedule that me and my friend followed and we managed to see everything we wanted to see um, in a few days without missing anything. So let's start with the first category which is the places that in my opinion are worth to visit starting with the Colosseum which is an elliptical amphitheater in the center of the city it's the largest ancient amphitheater ever built and it's still the largest standing amphitheater in the world the second one is Santa Maria Maggiore, the Papal Basilica of Saint Maria Maggiore is one of the four Papal Basilicas and it's the only Roman Basilica that retained the core of its original structure. Also, you should visit the Pyramid of Cestius, which is a Roman pyramid in Rome. Then we have the Castle Sant'Angelo the Mausoleum of Hadrian. The structure was one of the tallest buildings in Rome. Piazza Navona, which is a public open space in Rome. The Pantheon, a former Roman temple and a Catholic church. Fontana di Trevi, the largest Baroque fountain in the city and one of the most famous fountains in the world. Piazza di Spagna, or Spanish Square, at the bottom of the Spanish steps is one of the most famous squares in Rome. Also, you should go to Altar of the Fatherland, which is a large national monument to honor the first king of an unfied Italy, Victor Emmanuel II. Villa Borghese, a landscape garden in Rome. In here you can find museums, theater, a zoo, my favorite temple of Asclepios, where you can take a boat to spend some time on the lake. It's really beautiful. I think that it's worth to visit. If you have enough time, you can go to the Bergen Market at Porta Portese, which is in Trastevere, and the Bergen Market is every Sunday. And uh, of course, you should go to the Vatican, which I left it last, as I believe that if you want to visit the Vatican, you'll have to spend a whole day there. I didn't have the time to do so, but I managed to go at least from outside at the Papal Basilica of St. Peter. Just keep in mind that if you want to enter to the museums, the queues are huge, so I suggest you to buy your tickets early and even buy the tickets to skip the line or else you will need more days to manage to visit everything that you want. The next category is food and I will give you a list of things that I tried while I was in Rome and I definitely believe that if you ever go to Rome or in Italy in general uh, those are some things that you should try. And of course, you should try the pizza and the pasta. Um, you should try focaccia, bruschetta and arancini. And for desserts, you should definitely try the ice cream, tiramisu, maritosi. Of course, for food, you should go to Trastevere. And also, I have to recommend you three shops um, to visit. The first one uh, is uh, Pompey. Uh, for tiramisu. The second one is Limone, where they serve ice cream in lemon cups. And the last one, which is my favorite, it's called Grezzo. 
and it has the best ice cream that I ate in Rome. For the third category of this video, I wanted to give you some tips to make your trip easier. Uh, so first of all, as we said earlier, uh, if you want to enter to the museums, I suggest you to buy your tickets early, buy them online and even buy the tickets to skip the line because the line is huge in every museum and you have to spend a lot of time waiting. So if you have four days, I don't think that this is enough to, to wait in lines. The second tip is something that I read online. Uh, they say that every first Sunday of the month, the museums are free to enter. I'm not sure about this one, I'm just saying it in case you want to search it. The third tip is if your hotel is near the train station, the termini station, just keep in mind that it's, in my opinion, the most dirty and dangerous area in Rome. Uh, I didn't have a problem uh, even when I was returning to my hotel room uh, at night. I'm just telling you just to keep it in mind and be careful and everything will be alright. Also, Rome is one of the safest cities in Europe, uh, even for solo travelers. Uh, just keep an eye on your bags for pickpockets. My next tip is that the only shoes that you'll need to bring with you is a pair of sneakers. I hardly believe that when traveling, to learn more about a city or a country, you need to walk. I don't like taking the bus or a taxi because you may lose a lot of hidden gems. So if you're planning to walk a lot like I did, the only thing that you'll need to have with you is a pair of sneakers. Another tip if you're visiting Rome during summer is to take your sunscreen with you. Also, if you travel during summer, I recommend you to take mini breaks. I personally uh, went to shops to have an ice cream or something to drink uh, because it was really hot outside. Uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money in shops, uh, you can enter to churches, but just keep in mind that you should wear the right clothes. My next tip is about tourist traps. Many places that you'll find on TikTok and even on Pinterest are tourist traps. I just recommend you to not eat or drink something uh, in shops near the sightseeings, famous sightseeings, because usually uh, the things there are more expensive. Another tip that I want to give you is to bring your own cup uh, to drink water. Uh, you will not need to buy plastic bottles of water. Uh, you will see water fountains everywhere and the water is crystal clear. Also, you need to wake up really early. This is Fontana di Trevi at half past six in the morning and this is Fontana di Trevi later that afternoon. The last thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is how me and my friend spent our four days in Rome and how much money we spent in total. So the first day we arrived in Siampino Airport and I want to tell you that from Siampino Airport to the Termini station you can take a bus uh, which will cost you 6 euros. You can get your tickets online and it will take you for about 40 to 60 minutes to get there or else you can take a taxi uh, that will cost you for about 30 to 35 euros um, we decided to take the bus and then we arrived to our hotel room and we decided that we wanted to go to Trastevere uh, to eat dinner there so while going there we visited Santa Maria Maggiore uh, the Colosseum and the Palatine Hill and then we ended in Trastevere. The second day it was Sunday where in Porta Portese they have their bargain market uh, so uh, before going there we stopped to the pyramid of Cestius uh, then we went to the bargain market and after that we walked to Vatican 
and the castle of San Angel. Uh, later that day, we visited Piazza Navona, the Pantheon, and the altar of the Fatherland. Uh, the third day, we woke up really early because we went to Fontana di Trevi and Piazza di Spagna, and then we had a lot of time, so we went to Villa Borghese. And in our last day, we wanted to go uh, to Trastevere for food for one last time and we spend the rest of our day shopping so this is everything that we did uh, four days was enough for our trip and in total we spent for about 450 euros where 250 euros were for our tickets and our accommodation and then for food souvenirs and everything else we spent for about 200 euros I think that everything was in really good price. So this is everything that I had for this video. Feel free to comment any tips that you have for first time travelers in Rome or if you think that I forgot to say something. And thank you for watching. Bye!